welcome to our show, More Cowbell. I'm your host, Alex Fieras, and we're actually in the attic or the third floor of the Old Town Mall. Uh, this is our new show. What's More Cowbell about? If you're an artist or a musician and you want us to interview you or your band, call us, contact us, uh, submit some video. You can submit your own video to localvisiontv.com. Um, if you've got a show coming up, you can click on our gig calendar and you can put your show right up there. All right, so here's some of the places we went to last weekend. And we're down at Wiggy's Bar and Grill or Saloon? How, how is it Wiggy's? I would say this is a saloon. Oh, are we rolling? Yeah. Uh, we're in the we're in the men's room. Come on in, man. You're off camera. <laughs> I'm sitting here with Mr. Jim. We're backstage. This is where the magic happens at Back Bar. Magic. <laughs> I'm here at Back Bar with Shock. And I'm here with the drummer and singer's girlfriend. I'm at the Time Out Pub, and everybody's laughing because I didn't even know where I was. Ran into the Jamie Campbell Band. <laughs> We went over to the Speakeasy and ran into a band called So So Radio. We had to interview them in the men's room because we, it was the only place we could find good lighting. Recorded an album yet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's out there. You should buy one. <laughs> or we'll give you one for this wonderful yeah, interview. That's what I wanted to hear, you know, because they're paying me mega bucks for this gig. You should talk the rest of the world into buying one. We went to Bushel and Pack. They have an open mic on Friday night. <laughs> We uh, saw the buzz there at Tremors, and uh, that was awesome. Today's show, we have Jesse Korleski. He is a music instructor at the Voigt Music Center. His current band is called Gray Matter Mechanics. Here's a little bit of hanging out with Jesse at his place and talking to him about the music. Tell me a little bit about how you first got started in music. It was my brother Jeff who was telling me like when I was like 10 years old, he's like, wow, whenever you come up to the piano and try to figure stuff out, you figure it out really fast and you just, you're like putting stuff together and he was, he had already been taking lessons for years and you know, so part of my family's musical, part of them are like farmers ish <laughs> get into that and then we started a punk band like this you know that's what you start off as punk because that's the easiest style of music to play what is it two chords instead of three <laughs> pretty much yeah two chords and three lyrics and uh, right. lots of yelling so then I started Salva May I guess you could say it's Spanish for, for sa save, save me. me yeah just because the word sounds cool and uh, <clears throat> she was a really good vocalist like she was classically trained and she went to NIU and she was just an amazing singer, and, and I was like, why don't we base a, a band around you instead of me? We really, we did as much as we could in, in, in the four years we were together. We played all over the, the U.S., and we, we actually had an uh, album re release in Japan, with Japanese writing on it and everything. It was like, they, they contacted us, and they, they loved our music, and they, they you know, put, um, put it together, distributed it in Japan and everything themselves. Um. Yeah. Wow, drawing a blank. Drawing that interviewer blank. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a cut. <laughs> well, you know, I want to thank you for being um, my first guest. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Korleski, an original piece, Running. <laughs> Thank you. 
leave you with a little bit of go view yourself. So good morning, good afternoon, and good night. <laughs>